Howdy pilots. Skip here. You may remember the uh, Freewing F-16. This is a new fuselage and uh, I managed to salvage a bunch of the old parts. Um, in fact, I, I save, I save all, all the old parts and stuff like that because you never know what you might be able to use uh, in the event of, say, a future crash. Uh, I've already rebuilt this thing four times. Um, and the first couple of times I actually did it and put like 100 pieces of foam back together. It looked great when I was done. I've got a video on my channel, you can check it out. And it says anything is possible. But they show before and after and, and when it's done it really looks good. And the thing flew great too until the ESC took crap and, and, it, and it went down like a missile again. So number five here, we're going to do the fifth rebuild. We're going to have a fifth maiden and uh, stay tuned, you get to see it. Uh, a couple of differences we're going to do with this one. I'm going to do a little reinforcement, uh, a little bit of reinforcement, excuse me. Um, and one of the issues I think with the ESC that it got so hot, uh, there's no airflow going through this fuselage at all. The only airflow you've got is through the is through the tube, you know. And, and sure that does the job, but it has no cooling coming in whatsoever. So we're going to put a couple of scoops on the sides of these here, and uh, we're going to make it functional with an inlet. Outlet, we're going to get some airflow through there. We're going to keep that ESC cool this time, guys, and I don't plan on crashing this thing again. Uh, the other difference I've got is I've, uh, we're going to do a big upgrade on the uh, uh, ESC. We've got a 85-amp uh, ESC going to be going in this thing, a 10-blade uh, uh, fan unit. Now, when I got the fan, I noticed that when I got it back here, the the, the fan, the, the housing, everything else pretty much straightforward, but nothing fit any of my motors, any of the free wing stuff, even even some of the stuff that I've gotten from Hobby King. I thought for sure would be a shoe in, you know. Uh, but I went ahead and had to had to get another motor. Now this was only about about fourteen or fifteen dollars, but it's a seven hundred and thirty watt. Uh, 2800 kV. It's going to be running on a 5S battery, guys. It's got some good, it's got some good magnets in here. It feels pretty good. Um, I've heard this thing on videos of people flying their, their jets with this, this setup, and it sounds phenomenal. It's going to sound like a mini 90 millimeter, uh, but it should sound real true without that, that high pitched scream like the 70 millimeters have. All right, guys, well, I'm going to get this together here, and uh, there'll be a video posted. You'll get to see it. I'll probably do a time lapse, so it won't have to take so long. I'll maybe throw a little music on there. But uh, it'll be the free wing. It will be the free wing F, uh, F-16 Fighting Falcon, 70 millimeter. Uh, major upgrades going in this one, guys. Stay tuned. Hope to see you soon. Bye.
it's, uh, it's pretty much done, except for the little final things that I'll probably do to it. A little customize here and there when I get bored, but for the most part, uh, she's, she's ready to fly. Um, you might want to take a look at that. Well, almost ready to fly, okay? She's an ARF right now. Uh, the canopy came without magnets, so <laughs> I got to I gotta rustle up some magnets and put some magnets in there, and uh, uh, it, I'm sure it'll stay stuck a lot better that way. But underside turned out real nice. I had to tighten up some of the stabilizers. Uh, cool part here is that the uh, um, adjustments and stuff from the last crash, they were all still pretty much tuned to the last, uh, uh, the last ride it was on, and... Throwing it back together here, I must have done something pretty close because the control surfaces, I haven't adjusted a thing, guys. And look at this. I mean, there's like, <laughs> even even the rudder is pretty darn straight. The wings, wing uh, ailerons are pretty darn straight. The, uh, the trim on the tail section is just about where it's supposed to be. So, I mean, wow, even, even the steering's straight. But... Uh, Appears like everything works. And for all the best, here, here we go. Oh, yeah. I think that'll do. And of course, you know, the last thing, right? Well, besides the magnets and the canopy, I think I'll put a. Uh, rubber band on that probably to hold it on there while I'm looking for some magnets and showing this thing so I don't drop it because that's usually where I damage it the most is moving it around and stuff. But last thing on right there we got the nose cone. I'm going to fix it with just a couple of tabs of glue. Um, things like to fall off otherwise it, you always break this pedo tube on the thing so it's so much easier if you can remove it when you're moving it around and then just Pop it on there when you want to fly it. Put, you know, make something. Uh, what I actually, what I'm going to do is, I'll, if I find some more magnets, I'll put some magnets in here and uh, make it a stick. That way, it just pop on, pop off, and not so much breaking it up on the way. So that's it, guys. Check out the uh, the thrust tube and that uh, um, kind of neat looking, right? I'm. Uh, Probably going to end up putting some tail lights up, uh, uh, maybe a tail light or something up here later on, but uh, I'm kind of out of that. I've just got strip light uh, LEDs right now, and yeah, I, they're good for inside things. I'm, I'm almost kind of not liking them. I put them on my Zero and, and up on the front. It looks great in the dark, but looking at it from the front, I'm not real decided on them, whether I'm going to keep that or not yet. Anyway, it looks real good, guys. So, uh, the Freewing F... Uh, F-16, uh, Fighting Falcon, from Motion RC. This is the fifth rebuild, and uh, as far as I can see, she's ready to fly. I mean, I didn't even adjust a thing. That's awesome. Whoa. Might need a little charge in that battery, though. But, uh, pretty cool. Thanks for watching.